Singapore could be the next big innovator in fast chargers and electric cars, thanks to a new centre focused on an emerging semiconductor material. Run by A-Star, the facility aims to power R&D to help firms and researchers turn tiny chips into high-impact tech for the global market. Rachel Tang reports. These semiconductors are smaller than a tip of a finger and can be used to power anything from electric vehicles to wind turbines. Gallium nitride can operate at higher voltages and generate less heat compared to traditional silicon semiconductors. It's these traits that make gallium nitride great for tech that requires compact size and high efficiency, and these include 5G, 6G and satellite systems. The demand for gallium nitride is projected to grow to 2.6 billion US dollars by 2028. So what's gallium nitride? It's formed by combining the elements gallium and nitrogen into a crystal-like structure. And with this new centre, Singapore will be in pole position to seize global opportunities around this cutting-edge material. This, ladies and gentlemen, will position Singapore amongst the few global hubs capable of producing advanced semiconductors that will power future communication needs strengthening both national resilience and increasing our global competitiveness. At the same time, this will support a wide spectrum of the market from startups to SMEs and MNCs in their innovation journey. From mid next year, the centre will start offering commercial foundry services so companies can develop products faster. One startup expects this would help it cut capital investment of between 6 and $10 million. And if we want to make a high volume production line in Singapore or anywhere else, it needs huge capital. And, uh, but thanks to this uh, Instic program, we uh, are able to share some of the equipment, so we don't need to buy those equipment. So we use it as a, a kind of a springboard to bring our products uh, into commercial market. Analysts add that the centre will also boost Singapore's resilience in the semiconductor space. Recently, you know, in this, uh, the global situation, the supply chain disruption, and so on, definitely, uh, you, you know, Singapore would be, uh, you know, good to have this technology to uh, so-called uh, uh, alleviate this kind of supply chain issue, right? And Singapore being positioned at a, uh, you know, uh, very uh, so-called in a neutral way, I think that will help also other, you know, start to help, uh, you know, in the global supply chain uh, supply. Students and researchers will also get hands-on experience in dealing with this high-performance material. This will help build a skilled talent pipeline to power Singapore's future capabilities in gallium nitride tech. With its higher capabilities, gallium nitride can soon be part of a new era of efficient and high-performance electronics. Now, when it comes to its users, gallium nitride can be used to power electric vehicles and for sensors in autonomous cars. It is also a key material for radar and satellite systems. Plus, it can be used to make smaller gadgets, ranging from LED lights to medical devices. But pushing gallium nitride out to the mass market is not easy. Price is the biggest stumbling block. Right now, it can cost up to three times more than silicon, the most widely used material in the semiconductor industry. Still, experts say costs could drop and become more competitive in five years' time. That is, if trade of the base material is not restricted. Now, China, which accounts for some 98% of global gallium production, banned exports of the critical mineral to the United States in 2024, triggering prices to rise to their highest since 2011. Now, this is why Singapore's new gallium nitride centre is so important. By developing its own capabilities, Singapore won't just stay ahead in next-generation tech. It will also secure its place as a key player in the global semiconductor space.